up guys, Jake Rod, and we'll come back after another video. Today we are rebuilding the Falcons on Madden 20, Atlanta Falcons. Falcons, same difference. I am going brain dead, honestly, right now. But click the subscription button. Literally 13% of you watching this video right now are subscribed. That is not good, so subscribe, please. Thank you. Uh, Matt Ryan, don't mind that he has Superstar. He does not have Superstar right now. He has Superstar because Franchise Mode's having a stinker, I guess. But he's going to be solid, but we should honestly probably just trade him now. Maybe try to tank and get a high draft pick, take our QB of the future. I like that idea. Todd Gurley, 26 years old, like, he's sort of, like, good, I guess, but, like, his injuries have sort of hurt. Julio Jones, uh, arguably the best receiver in the NFL, probably is, but isn't going to be around forever. But he is amazing. Calvin Ridley has been very, very good for the Falcons this year. He's pretty solid. But then outside of those two, there isn't a whole lot. Russell Gage, Olamide Zacchaeus, and then I don't even know. C. Blake, B. Powell, like, I don't even know. Jake Matthews is solid, but he is way overpaid. James Carpenter, I will assure you right now, is not going to be there for much longer. Alex Mack might retire soon. Chris Lindstrom is, was a first-round pick last year. Going to be solid. Caleb McGarry, who knows? He was a first-round pick last year as well. But these two, were, were, I don't know about yet, but maybe we'll, they're something. They literally look the same, except Caleb McGarry has a slight beard. And Hayden Hurst is a pretty solid tight end. Here we are defensively. Marlon Davidson apparently can start two places now. I don't mind. He needs to develop. He has star. Then Queez Denard, like, mm, I'd rather get Kendall Sheffield and AJ Terrell some more playing time. First round pick last year. Second round pick two years ago now, I guess. Like, I guess, I don't know. Dante Fowler is way overpaid. Grady Jarrett, like I said, Marlon Davidson. Rookie will try to get up some playing time. He can start in two places. Full side of Yalakun, like, you randomly see him a superstar X Factor. Like, I don't know. Deion Jones, going to be a solid middle linebacker. Probably going to be here the entire rebuild. Keanu Neal is solid, but injuries are sort of caught up to him. Carter Allen is okay, I guess, but we got to make some trades. Matt Ryan, James Carpenter, and Darquise Denard. I don't know why I was calling him Denquise Denard. I don't even know. I'm having a brain-dead day right now. I don't know why. But Matt Ryan, James Carpenter, and Denny Star gets us two first rounds back this year and next year from the Vikings, which is pretty tremendous value. Also gonna straight up cut Alvin Bailey. No, I'm not. Um, but let's. We're gonna go to the midseason mark. <sighs> Hopefully, this team doesn't sign Colin Kaepernick. Uh, the Broncos do, so maybe the Broncos will. But let's go to the midseason mark. Yeah, but the Minnesota Mark trying to think, and Colin Kaepernick appears on the team again with a puff ball. You're not playing. Goodbye. 13.7. Why are we paying him that? Okay, now the tank job's real good. Unless we sign him again. We won three games because of him. Buccaneers 7 1. Thanks, Colin. <laughs> trying to tank, and Colin Kaepernick won't let us tank. Todd Gurley we can extend. Keanu we can extend. Devontae Casey we probably don't even need to extend. Young Waiku we can get in free agency for cheaper. But that's about it. Alex Mack is like too old. He's a very old man. The important guys are back, but I gave them too many years. But why do we, oh, we play in a very competitive division. Sick. 14th offense in yards, no quarterback stats. <laughs> 25th defense. Uh, it's not going to let me tank, but let's go to the mid-season mark. We didn't make the playoffs. Good. Let's see how to put, check out the playoff bracket. Any real giants? Well, actually, that could happen. Jaguars are the 6th seed. What is happening? Um, any 
seeing 5 and 11. Colin, we could have gone like. <laughs> to Colin! The defense was bad, our offense was okay. But Colin Kaepernick was on our team. Gotta be kidding me. He was. We threw the ball. <laughs> That's all I can say, we threw the ball. Tiger Lee played in every game, didn't get involved because we were too busy throwing. But what in the world? Almost 3,000 yard receivers. Calvin Ridley goes over 1,000. Hayden Harris goes over 1,000. Julio is 912, interesting. Apparently, no one can catch touchdowns except Hayden Hurst, who didn't even have that many. Russell Gage got involved. <laughs> what is happening? Deion Jones, though, was very, very solid. Mm. I'm not expecting to see any sacks. Yep. Well, eight is okay, six is okay, and then no one else got involved. Where's Marlon Davidson? He got one because I didn't add him as a rush end. Or a rush heat tackle. That's nice. But decent amount of interceptions. But overall, we were bad. Ryan Tannehill wins MVP. Con Kaepernick at nine. I'm mad. Tom Brady wins M Offensive Player of the Year in the NFC. Con Kaepernick at six. I'm so mad. Defense Player of the Year, Jamie Collins. Real head scratcher there. Um, but no. Um, DeAndre interesting. Officer here, DeAndre Swift. I forget what team I am. I'm the. It'll come to me. Defense rookie year. Jeff Gladney. I'm the Falcons. Okay. Uh, Asia Trout at four. And Jalen Hawkins at nine. So, interesting showing for the awards. Be the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. I wouldn't accept as Chiefs to score 14 points, but they did. Don't show me star development. And Colin Kaepernick has star development. No superstar for Calvin Ridley. No superstar for Hayden Hurst, so I guess no one's going to go up. Whole side of the yellow coon went up, but no one else did. Ryan Davidson has stars, we expected. I don't know how we played two positions and didn't go up, but no one went up. Wait, I think Colin Kaepernick went up, right? Yeah, um, to be honest, Alex Max is still here. Who I will resign on a one year deal. Devontae Casey's like, we don't need. Con Kaepernick, no. I'm getting my QB of the future in the. Oh, we have no cap. You've got to be kidding me. Free agency, we have no money. What do you expect? We're not going to have money because. Um, we're cap strap. That's just a thing because the Falcons. Can't seem like what are we gonna? Who are we gonna even trade? Like I guess you could trade Julio, but like why would we do that? You're scared. Who's getting paid a lot? Julio, Grady Jarrett, Jake Matthews. Bro, I don't need Jake Matthews. That Dante Fowler, dude. What are these contracts for Carter Allen? I don't need that for sure. Alan Bailey can just get straight up cut. He's a 67 rated. I don't care. I'm taking penalties. Like, my, I'm just gonna. Uh, like, why are these a thing? Tyler Davidson, Jake Matthews gets me the fourth pick. Uh, I wouldn't call it cheesing, but it sort of is. Gotta trade some more guys. Dante Fowler could get traded, probably. The Jags, you're a weirdo, but thank you for the first overall pick. Ricardo Allen and Dante Fowler Jr. get it done. <laughs> We've cleared up cap a little bit. Uh, not really, but we have good draft picks, so let's go to the draft. We have a draft pick at number one. This class is, there's not a really, like, spectacular QB, but Philip Griggs. Is probably Philip Rivers, honestly. He went to NC State. His name is Philip. He, like, he's honestly gonna be like the 32nd best player in the class. 
Uh, Roman Newton, I think is going to be a better player. So, why not take Roman Newton? He looks sick. 75, number two player in the class. What is happening? But he is six. Maybe the QB will fall. I honestly don't care if I don't get him. He's trash. There goes Eric Fernandez. Jets, don't take the QB. They took the safety that was kind of good, I guess. But, like, screw QBs. We're taking cornerback. Because cornerback is, like, more important. Who cares? He's not good. <laughs> He's not good. <laughs> I, I am sucking it up. That should have not been the pick. But literally, running backs. I need some second picks. I don't know how I'm going to get it, but QB, we got to take. Yes! Yes! There we go! Star Bear development. Love to see it. He's got a cannon. He's pretty good. He's our future. Philip Griggs. Let's go. I tried to trade down. It's like, it's kind of hard if I don't say so myself. So I feel like if I do say so myself, Taylor Ingram and Mar Marion Sims are going to be my pick in the first and the second round. But then, like, there are other guys that I want as well. But... These are like the two guys that I really need. Taylor Ingram out of BC. It's going to be my first one. Good third receiver. Like He's like, this class is so lackluster. Like, it's not good, to be fair. But, ugh. This is a bad class. I mean, we got our QB of the future, but it's like, was it really worth it? If the safety's not here, I'm going to lose it. Where is the safety? He's missing. He's not here. <laughs> I'm in shock. So I guess the pick is going to be Lee Anthony Clay out of South Carolina. I cannot believe that safety's gone, bro. I literally can't. I mean, he's going to play outside linebacker, but he's like, 91 speeds high. I'm just in such a bad mood. Why did that safety have to go? He's ruining this rebuild. This draft ruined the rebuild. I did this draft to make the team better. That didn't really happen. Let's take another receiver. Guess what? He's okay. Wow, this one has star better development. Now it makes my wide receiver pick over the safety even better. It's kind of the draft. He's honestly not even that good. So, it makes me feel better, but, like, we still need safety. But, here we are. Um, Check out the team, see how it's going. Oh, this is going to be the team, I guess, but... Uh, you're going to be my number three receiver with that star better development. It just helps. Our offensive line is atrocious, bro. New Q, rookie QB is going to have no time to throw, but our defense might do something. It's a work in progress. I'm still trying to tank a little bit. Pickens, like, what do you? what's the best you're going to do? Honestly, why don't we just make him, like, our number one corner? <laughs> For no particular reason, like, uh, slot receiver is going to be you because we want you to win offensive gear. You're going to play in the nickel, sure. Marlon Davidson going to play off the edge, but I don't really know if this team's going to be any good.
missed the playoffs. Good. Six and ten. Bro, that's not good. It's not bad enough. Struggled, I guess. Mm, defense. Was, like, our offense is bad. Was our defense. Our defense is average or something. Uh, Philip Griggs was not good by any means. Rushing. Todd Gurley didn't find the end zone, I guess. Don't tell me. Why was Ido Smith playing that much? Receiving, there wasn't like any insane numbers. Why did Brett Sherman literally have 48 targets in the slot? 48 targets in the slot. I like gulped while I was doing that and that didn't sound good. It looks like Hayden Hurst played in the slot when I... No, it must have been Calvin. Why did Calvin, he just, I don't even know what's happening. But our left tackle allowed 15 sacks defensively. Full of Sadi Olakun was unreal. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. I know. Sacks. Roman Newton with six. You gotta be kidding me, bro. That's not good enough. A lot of interceptions, though, which is good, but interesting year. Okay, Orlando Brown Jr., Rashawn Evans, and Mr. Swartz all except sick. Okay, we have no money now. Which is nice. Um Jair's still there, Bo. I'm not going after you. Uh, I'm moving Rashawn Evans to outside linebacker, along with the guy that we drafted last year. And then we'll have a sick linebacker trio. And then I'm also going after Marcus Davenport, wherever he is. And I'm still a top bid on him. So, oh, I think I need a kicker and punter. Maybe. 
Marcus Davenport except. So we're sick now. Let's go to the draft. In between Moses Good and the safety. And we could trade Todd Gurley, which I'm honestly very considering. So we're going to take Garen Gaddis, Darren Gaddis first out of Miami. Looks pretty solid. Okay, okay. <laughs> Why? We're taking too many good players, but I'm not complaining. 74 overall, star battery development, is not even that good. <laughs> he just... Doesn't cover anyone, by the way, but he, um, I'm going to trade for a running back, that, up for that running back, because, think about it, we could trade Todd Gurley, which is nice, honestly, I don't need Todd, I don't love this trade, you can look at it yourself, but I don't love it, but, uh, maybe this running back will be good, if he isn't, it's a problem, I swear, the Giants take him, the Giants are never going to Oh, Giants! Giants. I'm about to lose. They don't need him. They got Saquon Barkley. Well, I'm, I'm actually going to trade for that running back after the draft. So, uh, that's I'm honestly going to end the draft. Mr. Mark, we're two and five. I don't know why. Check out the stats. And there was our offense in Tennessee playbook that was struggling, which you don't tend to see. Hmm. Chris Lindstrom probably should bring back. He does accept. Um, Grady Jarrett does need to come back. Hmm. Thirty. Oh, he wants so much. Like, I could probably give him a three-year deal. Like, what? how big is he going to regress is a question. Probably wouldn't even be that bad. Caleb McGarry, I could... Dwayne Haskins is honest. Dwayne Haskins is honest. Why am I having an accent while I'm sorry? Bro, I'm having a voice crack. But all three of the guys that I wanted to bring back are back. Kendall Sheffield, we just don't need. So... Let's go to the playoffs, which doesn't look like we're going to make. Oh, we missed the playoffs. We finished 6 and 10. 29th offense. Is Philip Griggs not it? Or 
defense sort of didn't do as well as it needed to. Are we just not developed enough? Like, I don't know what the problem is. But Griggs wasn't good by any means. But uh, it looks like he didn't play. He only he got bench due to his bad play. Dwayne Haskins came in. I don't know why I'm saying it like ha, ha. It's Hask. Moses good wasn't good, and he had a pull groin. He fumbled no times, and he only has stars, so, like, kind of regretting trading Todd Gurley. Calvin Ridley was okay. Julio was okay. David Njoku was okay. Brett Sherman was okay. Nothing spectacular. David Njoku with 10 touchdowns, though, defensively. Deion Jones was good. Rookie Terrence Spencer was, like, pretty unreal. Sacks, I can't see. Okay, we had five and a half. Got no pressure. Did they just decide they didn't want to play? Maybe no, they played. They just didn't want to play defense, I guess. No, I'm not even gonna look at the interceptions. By the way, Chiefs beat the Cowboys in the Super Bowl, so let's check out the team. Show me something. David Njoku as normal. Uh, Julio Jones retired. Uh, and anger. Yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. Manny Overstreet is like progressed kind of good actually, but uh, like, how did Deion Jones not go up? Literally, he had superstar though, which is honestly really sick. But like, I don't know why I'm not happy right now. Miko Harmon and Kareem Hunt, so our team is good. That gives QB one more try, but I don't know why he isn't good. I don't like our tight end situation right now. I don't like love our O line. Maybe it's our O line. Maybe that's the problem. Probably is, but like we don't need any. We really don't. Maybe like a sick corner, but we really don't need anything. So we're just going to go to the draft. Hopefully we draft someone good, I guess. Yeah, the draft. And I'm just going to take a QB because why not? Damian Andrews out of Alabama. Pick. Oh, my. He's better. He's better. Great pick. Great pick. Great pick.
Damian Andrews development is superstar, so why not start him? Just why not? Uh, Philip Griggs can get traded then. And defensively, Javier Rose. This is a team, by the way. Javier Rose. Let's see what their dev is. What just happened to his hair? His hair was interesting, let's say. He has only star. Not going to star. So, this is a team for the final season, but a uh, specialist I probably need to fix. Pickens, okay, I guess, because he could be in the slot, but I'm putting Nico Hardman in the slot. Sure. But Rashawn Evans is not going to be a Russian. Why would it not be Davin? I'll fix it. Damian Andrews wins MVP as a rookie. Bro, he, he's going up. It. Uh, we're not in the AFC. We're NFC. Offensive player of the year is Damian Andrews. Defensive player of the year, Eric Hendricks. Deion Jones at three. Uh, Roman Newton at nine. Offense rookie of the year is Damian, Damian Andrews. Defense rookie of the year, Randall Leno. And best QB, Damian Andrews. So, get yourself Superstar X Factor, young man. But let's hop in against the Niners. Tied at 28 with four minutes left late in the game as Ingram on a streak. T. Ingram. The Ingram. He's Ingy. And he is. Not that fast. <laughs> what? Oh. What? What just happened? What? Well, uh, something happened. Um, but I couldn't tell you what that was. Najoku cooked him. What? Oh, Nick Bose is injured, but like. Dude, that's P.I. The ball hadn't even come, and the guy just, like, pushed him over. What was that? I've never even seen that before, but Hardman might have a touchdown. Run. Run, you got speed. Decent play for there.
like the Niners just. It looks like they're just not gonna have enough time, as we're gonna come into San Fran and get the W. It looked like our QB was pretty spectacular, so uh, let's go to the thing next week. Sim Legend Bears in the uh, thing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, they just sh flat out shut out the Bucks. Barely beat football team. Then just flat out dominated the Bucks, who dominated the Packers, who would have dominated the Packers, who. And it's a Brown Steelers matchup. Rivals. My Browns. But I like the Falcons this time around because. They, the Bears are an 83 overall, but like I said, there's some lunch. We're scored or we're just, we've kind of won this game, I feel like, in a way. I just feel like we've been the better team for sure, and we have been. And Kirk Cousins is a QB? Bro, what is he, like a 37 overall? Nah, bro, he's probably like a 69. I don't know. So that regression probably came to him. And it comes to him fast for some reason. But let's go see what we have in the 
Super cool. 